All right, uh, we're going to look into creating what's called a key schedule now in Revit. To create key schedules, they're pretty powerful tools. It'll help us populate all this data quick by just using one key. The trick is we're going to take our regular room schedule and we're going to have a key schedule that goes along with it. So to do that, we'll go up top. Now, um, I'm going to write, that nah, doesn't work in this version. Uh, drop schedules down here, schedules and quantities, and then I'm going to go down to whatever I'm working on. Now, this happens to be rooms, so I'm going to pick rooms. And then I'm going to say create a key schedule, a room key schedule. Now, it's going to give me a key name called room style. I can change it if I want. I'm just going to leave it as. Now, when I hit OK, it's going to say, what information do I want to put in my key schedule? So I got the key name plus base finish, ceiling finish, floor finish, and maybe wall finish. Again, this is up to you on what you want to put in here. At this point, I hit OK. It creates this little list. Now, you'll notice there's nothing in the list here. So I click on key name. And you see, again, nothing much going on until I hit new. When I hit new, it drops one in. Now, this is going to be, let's say, room style one. Now, the base finish in here, let's say it's pretty basic. Let's say uh, rubber. Ceilings made out of coffee. Floors made out of grits. Okay. And the wall finish is, I don't know, pancakes. Okay. Now, that's one. I'm going to hit another new one. And I'll put something else in here. So base finish, and maybe lunch here. I don't know. Uh, it'll be burgers, fries, soda, and cake. Okay. So what I've done is we've actually created these two styles. I'll create another new one, and then this one may be actually something real uh, again. VCT. Uh, ACT floor finish um, <laughs> yeah chicken ducks and wall finish VCT okay now we go that's a pretty now oh, we're going to hose it down all right <laughs> so we've got our uh, our room styles here <laughs> but they getting that big machine up there okay um, <clears throat> now we're good to go here now the the trick is to tie the two together so if I go back to my room schedule, you'll you look in here, you go, well, I, I don't have a, a style in here. So, uh, so you go, oh, man. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a crossover. I'm going back to fields, and I'm going to add in. Notice room style. So it's it takes uh, three, three parts to it. You create the room schedule. Then you create the key schedule. Then you go back to room schedule, and you add in the room style. Now I'm going to move it up in the list like so. Now, I've added it in. Now we start to get pretty fancy. Watch when I change this one to a 1. Bloop, see, it pop, populates it. And this, one is a, this one's a 2, and this one's a 3, and this one's a 1. Now, again, you're going, well, I can't see it. I want to know where I am. Let's go back to the floor plans. In the floor plan, I can see where I am. So if I roll over this office, and I hit, let's say, tab, I pick it. Now, that is what room style. That's a room style 1. What about this guy? I roll over it, hit tab once. That is a room style three. And I just go around the building and tell it which one it is. Now when I go back to my rooms, go back here, you can see how all that information is now being filled in. This can be done with all your different components to make life easy. All right, so that's how you create the key schedule and time together.